Good evening and welcome to Nevada Weekly. I'm John Marshall and we'll be meeting our co-host Terry Nault in just a few moments over at the School of Medical Sciences. In the meantime, we're on the campus of Hug High School, not far from Rancho San Rafael, which we'll be looking at toward the end of our program. We're here at Hug uh, in order to demonstrate our interest and our concern about Hug High School students and Nevada High School students everywhere and their interest and concern about the University of Nevada, Reno. As a matter of fact, I have here a possible young recruit for the university sometime in the future. What's your name, young man? Peter. How old are you, Peter? Four. Uh, what do you like to do? Good school. That's remarkable. Where do you think you might want to go to college? Nevada, Reno. Terrific. That'll be about the class of 1997 or 98. We intend to show here in our first segment a program that's devoted to college life, university life, that was a film prepared especially for high school graduating seniors, and we hope you like it. This is a pretty quiet place. I really like it. It was a lot different than what I was expecting when my folks and I came up here last spring to check it out. It really feels like we're a million miles from all the action and excitement downtown. Actually, it's only about two miles, I think. This campus is really peaceful and quiet. And that's one of the things I really like about it. We're a community of about 9,000 students and faculty. It's a pretty nice place, I think. Maybe that's why I decided to come to school here. It's real easy to get around, which is one of the good features about a smaller campus. We're not all that small, though. There are dozens of majors you can choose from. Student life was really personal and friendly. Well, you hear that about every school. But I gotta say that I've really been impressed. I've made a lot of friends and there really is a lot going on all year. Like back in September, right after registration, there was a big barbecue for all the students. And everybody was so friendly. You'd have to be a hermit not to meet people. A 
few weeks later was homecoming, which started out with a big pep rally and bonfire. There was a big homecoming parade right through downtown before the football game. Around this town, there's a lot of pride in UNR, and at homecoming, it really shows. The Wolfpack team is one of the hottest in our division, and school spirit at the games just won't quit. subject areas have plenty of chances for practical, hands-on experiences. It's especially true in the performing arts, such as theater. Kids have a chance to write, direct, act, sing, and design costumes and lighting. We're doing super, and we're getting national recognition. People know where UNR is. You don't have to be a music major to sing or play in one of the department's many performing groups. I've really been pleased with the personal attention I've been getting in my classes. You don't feel like you're just another number here. If you want to be an engineer, you'll find outstanding programs at UNR. This university is super close to some of the top ski areas in the country, and most of them are less than an hour away. Her annual winter carnival is a big event for the ski team, and for just any student who likes snow and winter sports.
a full four-year program. We'll have our first graduating class of MDs in 1980. find quiet areas for serious study almost any time. We've definitely got small classes. You know, it's really nice to be able to get that kind of personal attention, especially when you really need it. We have great concerts and a lot of fun things like that. UNR has always been a very active campus socially. Though it is a smaller university, the Reno campus can and does compete successfully with many larger institutions in athletics. The Wolfpack boxing team has been national champions twice. I think the quality of instruction on an undergraduate level is as good here as any place in the country. In this class, we actually go out in the field to map a mine. We map the surface, various outcrops, figure out the structure of the area, and then we get to go underground to see the actual ore body and all the main structures there. Try to put the whole works together and decide whether it's really worth working on. celebrates the change of seasons with Mackie Week. We really have a wild time. It's so much fun. And it's a tradition that goes back to the beginning of UNR history. of sports programs to participate in. UNR has a really strong women's sports program. I really think that's important. Our equipment and facilities in journalism are really modern. I mean, you can get quick and accurate composition of news events. Like sports. surveyed this campus a hundred times. Don't you think we have it right by now? I've gotten more out of ROTC than I ever thought possible. The program is just great. The Student Spring Rodeo. Well, it's not for sissies, boy or girl. 
It's rough out there. Life at the university isn't all fun and games, but our activities do help to break up long periods of studying. We know we're here for a specific purpose. Getting good grades means it will improve your chances to go on to grad school, or law school, or just improve your chances generally in the field of your choice. undertaking that very necessary role, we recognize that we comprise an institution that is firmly wedded to tradition, that we are a social entity more than a century old in Nevada, and far older than that in our educational heritage, and that our values and our practices are thereby anchored in the custom of the ages. Mary Catherine Desmond. Mary Margot Trechak, Maureen Ellen Tui. Rancho San Rafael has been a campaign issue, political issue, a growth and development issue, a recreation and environmental issue. It's of particular interest to the University of Nevada community because of the proximity of Rancho San Rafael to the university. And our reporter Gigi Corey is just about to take us to Rancho San Rafael to show us what everybody's talking about. Washoe County citizens have the opportunity to preserve a 415-acre parcel of land which was once part of the Evans family ranch. At the location of this apartment complex, once stood the home of John Newton, Jean, Pete, and Alvaro Evans. John Newton Evans 
Once the president of UNR's Board of Regents and his family owned land that extended from 6th Street to the Peavine Foothills and Sutro to Keystone. The land where the university stands today was donated by the Evans family. Rancho San Rafael is located at the intersection of Sierra and North Virginia streets. The continuation of McCarran Boulevard, now under construction, will bisect the proposed park site. Rancho San Rafael is perhaps the most beautiful section of what was the Evans Estate. Local newspeople have had limited access to the site by request of the former owner, who still maintains the ranch buildings. Showing the land here may help Washoe County voters make an informed decision. on Tuesday, June 5th, will be asked to authorize Washoe County to issue $9 million in general obligation park bonds. This amount will purchase the land and cover the cost of preliminary development. Long range development includes softball diamonds, bike paths, equestrian trails, picnic areas, and walking and jogging paths. If the land is acquired by Washoe County and the City of Reno, Funds for further development will be available from both state and federal sources. <music> development of the proposed park is where the voice of the community is most important. Guidelines have only been suggested at this time. This is Gigi Corey for Nevada Weekly. shows, Nevada Weekly will be looking at such things as the energy crisis and how it affects our transportation needs in Reno. For you and our students who must live on a limited income, this can be a serious problem. Nevada Weekly will take a look at some alternative means of getting from here to there and back again. We'll also be looking at the problem of birth defects in the United States. This is a problem that affects more than 140,000 newborns each year. Dr. Larry Schneider, chairman of the anatomy department at UNR's School of Medical Sciences, is involved in the study of birth defects on the cellular level. We'll also take a look at a day in the life of a television crew at the Nevada State Legislature. According to a study by the National Association of Broadcasters, television is the nation's most trusted source of news. At this year's session of the state legislature, there was more television coverage than ever before. 
With the increasing importance of political decisions, television coverage will become even more important. Nevada Weekly will also take a look at the work of Nancy and Jim Laird, who have set up a wild animal infirmary in Washoe Valley. With help from the community and such groups as the Wildlife Club of UNR, they are building cages and expanding the facility to deal with the increasing numbers of sick and injured wild animals which are brought to them. We just had commencement a couple of weeks ago, and now we're looking forward to another key event uh, in 1979, and that's the registration day for UNR's summer session. Registration date is Friday, June 8th for summer session, and John and I think we're going to call this year's summer session Super Summer 79 because there's so much happening. It's a very rich uh, variety of offerings. For example, I've heard that there's going to be a literature and cinematography course on science fiction. Uh, involving some of the best known, internationally known science fiction figures, uh, authors, producers. Uh, that's also going to lead to a conference, Terry, uh, on science fiction. Right, and all kinds of other courses, like that very popular course on interior decoration is going to be offered again this summer, and that's when you tour homes in Reno to see how successful people have decorated their homes, have been successful at decorating their homes, I should say. Racquetball, sailing, and don't forget all the public activities that will happen during summer session, like the watermelon concerts in the quad, they're always popular. Get your course guide today to find out what you can do this summer in summer session, and you can find out by calling 784-4062. Thanks for joining us this evening, and please be with us next week here at the same time, same place, KLO-TV, Reno. Good night. are, by definition, agents of change. And yet, in undertaking that very necessary role, we recognize that we comprise an institution that is firmly wedded to tradition, that we are a social entity more than a century old in Nevada, and far older than that in our educational heritage, and that our values and our practices are thereby anchored in the custom of the agents.